Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel again. We are in the Khalakhari Trans Frontier Park in the Northern Cape and we're going to do a trip called Lofi's Dry with the honorary game rangers. It is a huge privilege to do this trip as the trip is booked up years in advance. We started at Tweerafiren and we made our way north towards KK. It wasn't long before we saw our first lion. The lioness was catching her breath in the shade of a tree after she made her kill. Close by we could see the gemsbok that she killed. We stopped at KK Waterhall and admired the animals drinking there. A short distance north of the waterhole we turned left towards our first venue of the trip. The camp is off the normal tourist roads and was built to serve as a place where workers in the park can come to relax. Kaika has a huge fireplace, an almost cage-like structure where we slept in, and a water hole. We enjoyed relaxing in the middle of nowhere after a hot day on the road. The Kalahari sunset was exquisite and so was the meal that was prepared for that evening. The next morning was an early start as we had a long way to go to our next camp. And not too long into the road we had our first roadblock. Mr. Lion was lying and waiting for us. We saw a lot of animals along the way and we had frequent stops at the water holes. Each car got issued with a radio and our guide gave us a lot of interesting information regarding the animals and the park over the radio. Just south of Polenswa, we turned west towards our second destination. Our next camp is Lofi's Dry. Professor Ierloff used to pitch his tents here at this spot when he did his lion research. Later on, the former park head Elias Lerich built this more formal structure here for Professor Ierloff. Rumour has it that the professor wasn't so impressed at first but it did grow on him later on. Nowadays, this is managed by the honorary game rangers and once a month, eight guests are privileged to visit this spot. To us, it felt like heaven on earth. We relaxed next to the fire and enjoyed the beautiful Kalahari sunset. Yet again, we enjoyed a beautifully prepared meal. We had another early start just after sunrise and we traveled on remote roads which is not accessible to the general public. We stopped 
often along the road and our very competent guide told us a lot of interesting things about the Kalahari. We did some exciting dune driving on the Kharakhap 4x4 trail. Then we headed north on the general tourist roads towards Union's End. We were allowed to drive further north towards the real spot where Namibia, Botswana and South Africa's borders meet. For the two of us, this was a real epic moment as we never expected to be able to stand at this specific spot. We all savoured the moment. We headed back south and we drove right next to the border between South Africa and Namibia. This is a straight line on the meridian 20 degrees east of Greenwich. On the Namibian side there is commercial farmers and on the South African side the Kalahari Transfrontier Park. After a long day's drive, Lofi's dry was like an oasis in the desert. As the sun was setting, we just realized how privileged we are to be here. The next day was a lazy day and we could sit and admire the activities at the waterhole. Late afternoon, we drove to a nearby pan for sundowners. On our way there, we spotted spotted hyenas. We were treated with sundowners and a delicious spread of snacks. The Kalahari did not disappoint us and yet again we had a beautiful sunset. On the night drive back we saw the hyena again. Back at camp the oryx and a lovely meal awaited us. We saw the sun rise for the last time at Lofi's Drive. Thank you.
while having coffee we save it our last moments here at this beautiful spot We got our lovingly and meticulously packed lunch boxes and said goodbye to Luffy's dry. We headed south over the red Kalahari dunes to spend our last night at KK. We saw another magnificent male Kalahari lion. We spent our last night at KK and shared all our memories around the campfire. This was an amazing once in a lifetime experience. I would advise all nature lovers to try and do this trip to support the honorary game rangers in a wonderful task and also just to be spoiled and experience nature in the Halakhari. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Happy camping!